It's our first time vlogging, guys. Hold on. We've never done this before. Um, Hi, how's it going? Hey. Welcome. We are about to travel to Disney World starting today. We're doing it road trip style, though, you guys. And uh, yeah. we usually fly. We live in the Midwest. We live in Indiana, mm -hmm. if you're curious. And so it's like a two-hour flight, but... A 14-hour drive, yeah. give or take. Yeah. And we've got a six yeah. and a two-year-old, so yeah. say a prayer. <laughs> But I figured we'll start today. We're wrapping up. The girls are at school right now, so we're wrapping up packing. We're wrapping up. I got to go uh, clean up the car and get all that ready. So uh, I filled the gas tank yesterday. Like, yeah. what's what's the road trip checklist? Yeah. Full tank of gas. You got to clean the car. You got to oh, start clean, even though it's going to get it's very gonna dirty. It's going to get so messy fast. so fast. I'm cleaning the inside, and then I'm going to take it and have the outside clean. Okay. And then I'm checking all the fluid levels, all that kind of stuff. We just got the oil changed, so it's not it's in good shape. Uh, so yeah. So I got oh I got cash out if we need it for like tips or whatever. It's just nice to have cash. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm finishing up packing, and I packed the girls yesterday, which I did a vlog on my channel. <laughs> Shameless plug about what we packed. We also need to get like our cooler packed with like snacks, yes, yeah. which I've got all that. I just need to get it together. So, and we were gonna make ham salad or bologna salad, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. It's eleven fifteen, which we're is like a road trip tradition. So I don't know how we're gonna we're do all this. To we have like three in, hours. Yeah, we four have hours. three or four hours. So we're gonna see how this goes. <laughs> you know what's awesome though? By the end of this vlog, we oh no, we won't. We won't be in Disney. Yet. Oh wait, no. But at the end of at this the vlog, end of this vlog, we'll be in Disney. So it'll take us two days. But in this video, you get to yeah. see us in Disney. Also, we're staying <laughs> in, so far away. We're staying in the cabins at Fort Wilderness, the new ones. We are so, so excited, you guys. Woo! Woo! All right, let's go. Okay, I'm gonna start cleaning out the car here. Luckily, the car isn't in too bad a shape. I vacuumed it out, I don't know, two, three months ago, so it's not too bad. Um, it's definitely definitely gone longer than that before. I'm gonna get this all cleaned out, get all the little gook and all that stuff cleaned out of here. I'm gonna vacuum. I probably should actually clean these car seats, but uh, I'm not going to. I'm just gonna kind of I'm vacuum them out and whatever. Maybe when we get home, I'll actually take them apart and, and wash them. I've got some off-brand cheeses here. I just gave the kids the whole bag because I'm lazy. And then, <laughs> I was just laughing. I have no idea how long this has been on. It must have been on, it's blinking. I can't believe there's any batteries left. It has to have been on for at least like a day or two. <laughs> then I'll clean out and vacuum back here. I'm gonna wipe down the windows and then we should be good to go. surfaces are all wiped down. It feels so much better than what it did. Now I still need to vacuum. I need to clean out what's in here because there's just so much stuff in there. And then check the fluids and I think we're good. Rocking and rolling. Let's keep going. I am either the wisest madman or the maddest wise man you'll ever know. car is completely clean on the inside. All the surfaces are wiped down. It's been vacuumed. It's all good to go inside. Uh, so I need to go take it right now to the car wash, like I said, and then I'm going to, I already checked the fluids. I need to get some windshield washer fluid and I put a little brake fluid in. Otherwise everything looks good there. Tire pressure is all good. I already checked that. So I think we are just about ready to go. I wanted to show you this though. We had two of these. We lost one. So we've got another one. We always have obviously tablets and stuff when we are on road trips. We try not to give them to the girls unless we're on a road trip because then they actually work. And there's a lot of reasons. Anyway, um, don't have to go into that here. But the these are the best. We've tried all these different things that hold the iPad up against the headrest. And they have like these big straps that go around. They've got all these different ones. These are the best ones we've ever had. They are so sturdy. And let me just show you. It just snaps into place here. There we go on the one side and they're on the other. So it doesn't bother the person in front and doesn't have like straps going all around the headrest or anything. They're just on a spring and it holds it and it is so sturdy. These are the best and then they kind of fold away so they're out of the way. They are awesome. So now we've got one on either headrest for each girl. We always try and get at least two or three hours down the road before we let them actually use their iPads. We'll see how long it actually goes. Um, but anyway, so they're on there. They look sleek. I love them and they're so sturdy. I'll link them below if you're interested. But now off to the car wash. Okay, 
So I'm about to make what we call ham salad. It's been a staple in my family like ever since I was a kid. I used to make it with my mom. It is like a Midwestern, I think it's Midwestern, I'm not even totally sure, but I think it's a Midwestern, like for us, a road trip staple. So <laughs> I'm laughing because I feel like if you're not from the Midwest or if you've never had this before, you're gonna be like, huh, okay. Doesn't sound very good. You gotta trust me on this one. It's so good. It is just, and it's, we, I think the only time we make it is when we go on a road trip. So it's super duper easy. Let me just show you really fast. It's only a couple ingredients and it's super duper easy. So all it is, you get a hunk of bologna and I'm not talking about like the, the stuff you get with it's all sliced up. You just get a hunk of bologna. Did I say Midwestern? Hunk of bologna. You got your uh, kosher dill spears here, some hard boiled eggs, some mayonnaise, and then you season it with some pepper and some seasoned salt. And that is it. You throw it all, you put the pickles and the, the bologna and all that, you put it through your uh, meat grinder. I used to have a hand crank one and then I got this KitchenAid one that goes on my KitchenAid mixer. Fancy dancy way of uh, doing some <laughs> modern Midwestern cooking here. Um, anyway. So these three ingredients just go through the food processor and then you can make, I mean, it's like it's like egg salad and that kind of stuff. You can make it uh, on sandwiches. You can just eat it with crackers, whatever. Super duper easy and it just makes me so happy. <laughs> it makes me think of the old joke that uh, Hoosier lettuce is just potato chips. <laughs> oh, and also if I didn't say, welcome to the cutting board. that a little on a Ritz cracker here <laughs> beautiful mess mm. that is some Indiana caviar right there that is that's my childhood in a bowl that's great <laughs> childhood on a cracker So they were, it was, yeah. it was great, honestly, it was perfect. We got two hours under our belt, and you know what? The first 40 minutes was just us trying to get out <laughs> of our little area because there's so much construction. So mm -hmm. I'm like, we gained an hour, we lost an hour, I guess, whatever. Yeah, lost. And we're not talking time zones, we're talking just, just traffic. Yeah, construction, and we, and it was like rush hour time yeah. too, so it was just We had been in the car for an hour, and we were like six miles from our house. <laughs> it was awful. All right, so it's what? after 8 p.m. we are passing by a Bucky's <laughs> and I have heard non-stop about Bucky's for the last year like I feel I don't know how long they've been around do you know not a clue I don't know they have to have been around for a long time but then like all of a sudden they started showing up everywhere and people will not <laughs> shut up about the about Bucky's, Bucky's. I don't even know exactly what it is. Is it like a gas station? Yeah, it's, a, it's, it's a, a gas station convenience store. Think of it like okay. pilot, as if I've been. I've just done the research. Okay, but we were passing, well, okay, let me say, there was about 4,000 billboards between Indiana and here saying there's a Bucky's in 250 miles or 150 miles. So we were finally at the Bucky's. We're, we're gonna, gonna get go, some coffee. We're gonna get some coffee, but we're gonna go and see what's, what's all this fuss? What's the fuss about the buck? <laughs> there she blows. Woo. So many pumps. Holy cow, this place is huge. I mean, it's basically just a grocery store, and we've just walked in. This is crazy. I mean, it just goes all the way back there, and then all the way that way. This is crazy. That's what we're here for, though. World famous bathrooms. I wish I was hungry because this smells so good. That smells so good. I'm not hungry, but honestly, maybe get one for the road. I know, right? For all your road trip antler needs. They got a Bucky Truckee. <laughs> We've already made many rhyming jokes. Ooh, itty bitty Bucky Truckees. We call these Bucky Suckies. Bucky Wakey Uppies. <laughs> Bucky Wakey Uppies. Keep right. Uppies. I figured it'd be big, but this is uh, still bigger than I thought it would be, I will say. 
and way more Bucky's gear than I pictured. Like a lot more. Bye bye, Bucky. Nashville, Tennessee. Good morning. <laughs> we are at a home to suites in Chattanooga and we were hoping to be here by like 10 last night that was kind of our goal and we get up getting here at like 1 30 in the morning so we were absolutely exhausted so we got here got in went to bed they were out of pack and plays even though i called ahead and said we need to pack and play in a room they're like no problem but we got here and they were all gone um, we also apparently had the last room and i'm glad here's a little mental note for you if you know you're going to get in late and i knew this from when i used to work in hotels if a hotel is sold out they will walk people is what it's called. And it's a practice that I, I don't like as a consumer. I hated it when I worked in hotels. Basically, long story short, hotels will oversell their rooms just like airlines do. And then sometimes like airlines will bump people. Hotels will do the same thing and they will walk you to another hotel if you show up late. So when I knew we were gonna get there at like midnight, I ended up calling the hotel and saying, we're still coming, we're getting here late. But luckily they told us they had walked somebody before us, but they kept our room. I'm like if we had gotten here at like 1.30 in the morning and they told us our hotel room was, was not available with two kids, oh my gosh. I I would have lost my mind. So mental note, you know you're gonna show up late, call your hotel. Anyway, um, we missed breakfast, we slept through that. So I think we're gonna try and hit the road here soon and then go uh, go get some breakfast on the road. Okay, just kidding, we came downstairs. I thought breakfast ended at nine, it ended at 10. So we've got our classic smorgasbord of <laughs> hotel breakfast goodies here. Okay, we are about 90 minutes outside of Disney World. We are so close. One last pit stop, we just filled up the gas, gonna use the restroom, and then we are there. So close. touch and go but we made it we made it we're here okay we're one of a few minutes but we got our golf cart we got our owner's lockers we got our groceries jessica drove the car over here i drove the golf cart over here and we made it to our cabin so i'm gonna go take like five minutes maybe not even that long and just try and go film a little b-roll before we absolutely destroy the place here and then uh we're gonna go in and relax for the rest of the evening cannot wait
been running around like a chicken with my head cut off, but we finally got everything in the cabin. We're gonna unpack a little bit tonight, but then we'll finish that up tomorrow. But uh, I did wanna say, I just noticed in the main thing, they have a sign that says we are currently sold out of golf carts. So they can potentially sell out of golf carts. So either you, if you want one, you, I'm out of breath. My goodness, you or your travel agent should call ahead and make sure that you have one reserved before you get here because they do sell out. Also, I have to say, that of all the many, many years and many, many, many check-ins we've done at Walt Disney World, I think the cast members here are probably the friendliest, most like just ebullient people on property. They are so happy. They're so nice. So shout out to Samantha if she's, I'm sure she's not watching this, but you were awesome. Helped me with everything from the check-in to getting the golf cart, to getting the groceries, to getting everything. So they are just so delightful here. So. That's all. Camping people. Although they're not camping people, they're cast members in Orlando. But you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Anyway, very nice. Let's go. We did it. We made it. It's 11.15. Well, we got here. I mean, obviously. Oh, earlier, yeah. We've been, but... yeah, vlogging a little bit. But um, there you go. Are asleep. Yes. We just I'm had... ready for bed. You're on your way. Yeah. We just had our ham salad sandwiches. <laughs> I ended up remaking because we brought, obviously, some of the extra ham mm -hmm. salad. And this one, this time, it was, like, too wet. I'm yeah, like, mm -hmm. I had... I so we got the, some groceries and I just made a fresh. I food. had the uh, two day old soggy. How was it? <laughs> it was two days old and a little soggy. It was we right watched though. a little bit of the Haunted Mansion movie, like the newer one. It was on TV, so we watched it. It's really stuff. good. I, I liked it. It was different than what I expected. But even, I mean, we've watched it before. We only watched like five minutes of it tonight, but yeah. yeah but rewatching it, I'm like, oh, I really did like this. Yeah. Anyway, so we're going to end this travel day vlog here. It's we a started. Long vlog, I feel like. I know, right? You, got, you guys got to see me clean out the car. You got to see ham salad. You got to see Bucky's. You got, I mean, what a... What a journey. Wow. In one anyway. video. <laughs> <laughs> All right, tomorrow we're in Epcot. We're starting at Epcot, and then yeah. we're doing something else after. So yeah. look forward to that. We'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye.